This video is going to give you some guidelines. It's going to cover this template that we have that's going to help you get through your in basket exercise. The way the in basket, it's most common with um, company officer test and above, but they test your ability to manage a number of different priorities and to manage those well without um, missing any major, many, any major events. So this template here is designed just to give you a summary of it. And you can use this template. It's really helpful for organizing all the events that they show at, that they're going to give to you. So typically with the end basket, you're giving a set amount of time. You start out the scenario and they give you a list of all these different items that happen for the day. It's real common that you start out. It's your first day in the new position and you have all these different things that you have to address. You could have someone calling in late. You could have someone who gets injured. You could have a problem with one of the apparatus. You could have a meeting that you have to go to. There's all sorts of different things. And the goal is they have to see that you can prioritize well and you can organize and keep track of everything. So this, this template here is designed just to keep track of everything. If you're able to print it out and take it with you, it'd be really helpful during the test. If not, you could just memorize it and write it down. So this is, um, be, so this is really helpful. You want to do this before, as, the, as they give you the paper, um, as the first thing you want to do is fill out this template because keeping track of this template is really going to help you manage everything. And it's real common that in, in different types of interview processes, I'm sorry, promotional exams, is that you'll do this test and then later on stuff from this test will end up showing up again. For most interview process, from the promotional assessments I've seen, it's real common that you have the same crew throughout the process. And so if you bring this up during a role play scenario or possibly um, a tactical scenario, and you bring up something that you remember about a certain individual, it's gonna help you get the most points possible so that you score the highest possible during that, during that um, promotional exam. So this template here, the top's just the date, it's simple, which station you're at and which day of the week, it could be helpful just to know that type of stuff. Um, for example, weekends, staffing for administration is most likely different on the weekends. That applies both to fire departments. It also applies to hospitals and the community in general. So there's a lot of dynamics that the, for I work in Sedona, Arizona, the dynamics of a Saturday afternoon is a lot, a Saturday afternoon, especially on a holiday, is a heck of a lot different than a Wednesday afternoon because we have a lot more tourists that come into town and there's a lot more people, a lot more stuff happening. And our administration is usually gone on the weekends. So day of the week is helpful. If they don't give it, that's okay, but if they do give that information, it's really helpful to know what day of the week it is. It's also helpful to know where your your station is at because that's where you're gonna be playing this game. And a side note is that anytime you're on a promotional exam, a lot of this is just up to role play. If they don't give you the specifics on it, there is a certain amount of, of it you have to use your imagination. And generally speaking, when you do that, you wanna you want to assume the best case possible. So it's Role play and this in basket exercise, you can take a little bit of liberty with it. Don't get too carried away, but whenever you have the opportunity to paint the best situation possible and create the, the easiest, most practical solution, do that here. Don't get caught up on some problem and turn it into a major issue because that's really going to screw you up in this process. So, whenever you have the opportunity, you want to just polish your answer and make it shine because there you do get some liberty in terms of what you do with this. So again, the date, station, day of week. Here we have the personnel, name, rank, qualifications. So this is the way that we're set up here. Um, depending on your organization, it could be a little bit different. So you can modify this form as you see fit. But this is kind of like a par board. It's like keeping accountability so that through this whole process, you're keeping track of where everybody's at what's going on with everybody, and what's happening throughout the day, throughout this scenario. So the first part, if you have a battalion chief, which we do, you put their name up there. Um, which engine that you're assigned to, you would put that there. 
Um, and then this column is for events or pertinent information. So the captain, maybe that's you for this test, or maybe you're the BC. Um, and again, you can adjust this as needed for your rank, for the position, for the test. But the way this works is you have the BC, you've got whichever engine you're on, you have, this one was for a captain's test. So I was the captain, I had my engineer, my firefighter, one or two firefighters. I have an ambulance that I, that I look over, a medic and a firefighter, and then anybody else. There could be a rider along for the day. There could be somebody else hanging over to do a training. If there's anybody else mentioned, there's space for it here. And so you keep this, and this, this format is designed to kind of set to the side, and anytime you read through it, take notes. Engineer so-and-so came in lady smelled like alcohol. Write that down. Last week, firefighter so-and-so um, was awarded some recognition. Write that down. Um, medic so-and-so has a birthday coming up and he wants to do a party at the station. Write that down. And so as you're going through there, you want to keep track. That way everything is all in this one concise space and you keep track of everybody. You can organize it and you're not going to lose anybody during the assessment because that could be a fill point if you lose track of some major event that happens with one of your crew members. So that's it. This is the main part. It's just kind of like a par, but it's simple. Date, station, day of week, and then you just keep a running log of everybody and everything that happens with them throughout your situation. That's the main thing, and keep that as a cover page. So the next part is if times are given. So this is here. If they give you the times, there's two ways I'm going to show you that you can organize these. There's really not a right or wrong. It's a matter of what you're most comfortable with. And again, there is variation based on the test. So if they specify what they're looking for, then do the format they're looking for. But if not, you have the option as you can organize stuff chronologically. So if they have times for everything, then you could use this table here. Time, 7 o'clock AM, you show up to shift and the engine has a flat tire. Right away, time here. And then you could just do from the earliest time and you could track it down this way. Time, problem, what priority it is, whether it's low, medium, or high priority, and then you write the solution. So if they give time, one way to do it chronologically, just from the earliest time, work your way down. If you can do this on the computer, you want to do that because they'll give you something, the times are going to vary throughout it. So you want to make sure you can edit. You don't want to handwrite the times because if you handwrite the times and you have to go back earlier, it's going to look sloppy. It's not going to be good. So time, problem, priority, and again, the priority is high, medium, or low. And then what your solution is. If the times are not given, then you could rank it based on the problem and the priority. So what this would look like is you could say that everything at the top is considered high priority. And that would be a life safety, public disaster, uh, um, be a life safety, something that's gonna affect your response time, or it could be a big community issue. And I'm getting a call. No, I'm not. It's not for us. So I'll keep going with it. Um, so the problem and the priority. So this would be, you could put all your high priority up here. And again, the three big ones is if it's a life safety issue, if it's going to be a HR type issue to where like some, something's going on that's going to cause a big HR issue such as sexual harassment. Uh, or someone's drunk or something that you have to get something like or a fight amongst people so um, life safety human resource something that affects your response and then the other one is a public relations something with public relations if there's a big issue with a customer that would be high priority also there's another sheet I'll give you to help give more clarity on that but for now you could just put all the high priority up top you could put the medium down low, and then you could have the low down at the bottom. It's a little bit simpler, but it just gives you two options for how to organize all these events. So one is you could just do chronologically, is you could do it by time here, and then the problem, and you do the priority here. And it's always good to have a solution. Again, a big part of this is fantasy. It's, make, it's kind of make-believe, and so you always want to paint the best possible solution. And then here, the times are not given, so you could just rank in terms of high, medium, or low priority, 
and then you got your solutions over here. So that's it. I hope it was helpful with the in-basket. This form is available to you. <clears throat> Feel free to email us if you have any questions. Run into the fire one at gmail.com. It's run into the fire, the number one at gmail.com. We're here to help you be successful in your promotional test, not just your promotional test, but life in general. God bless. Thank you.